The number one cause of copper leaks is a lack of improper cleaning. So in today's Tuesday Tech Talk, we're gonna go over how to clean copper pipe and fitting like a pro. So the clock starts now. A lot of people think that heating up the pipe and soldering is the hardest part. But in reality, the hardest part is making sure that the copper pipe and fittings are absolutely clean. If you do that, the rest is easy. Guys, a lot of times plumbers will see a brand new copper 90 like this or a fitting. It looks shiny in the inside, but it's still not adequate to solder. So the best thing you could do is get a wire brush the same, this is a three quarter, they make half, one inch. You get in there and you wanna go at least six, seven, eight times and make sure that it's shinier because now you've taken that first layer off of the, of the uh, fitting. So once you've got that, you've accomplished a fitting. That's right, and if you're doing a lot of fittings, you might wanna consider getting a brush that already has a drill bit set up for it. So that way, you hook this up to a drill motor, makes the cleaning of these fittings so much easier. Now let's get to tip number two. Tip number two is sand cloth, cleaning the pipe. I yep. see a lot of plumbers cutting short pieces of sand cloth like this, yep. and it just doesn't work effectively. Get yourself a long piece of sand cloth, double it just like this, then put it around the pipe and you get so much faster and a much better clean pipe. Yep, and by doing it this way, guys, the sand cloth will last a lot longer versus doing it on a singular level, okay? Yep, that's right. The other biggest tip that I absolutely love to give me that peace of mind is, you know when you have a piece of pipe or copper pipe inside of a wall and you've gotta clean it? Well, what you wanna do is fold the sand cloth just like that. And this prevents the sand cloth from tearing. Not only that, guys, does a way better job cleaning that pipe that you can't see that's in the wall. So you wanna double up your sand cloth. Also too, when you're dealing with copper pipe, make sure you deburr before you, after you clean, you deburr and then put the fittings together. That's always the best way to uh, solder a copper pipe. Well, hopefully this video helped. As always, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.